What's going on everybody? Pete with Auto Pair Tips. Working on a 07 Wrangler. Customer had a Cadillac converter put on by somebody else, not really sure who, I think it was a friend. They put a converter on. It was a bolt up direct fit. I already looked at that, it looked nice. They did a good job actually. And they put 402 sensors on it. But driving along, the check engine light came on after so many miles and they went to like an auto parts store and they pulled a code and they said that the catalytic converter had insufficient flow. So he brought it to me to look at because they were at a loss. Let me show you what I found. So I took the car on a test drive, I got it up on the interstate. I took a screenshot of the O2 sensors. There's four of them. Bank one, sensor one. Bank two, sensor one. Bank one, sensor two. Bank two, sensor two. And if you notice from right here to right here, I was at a steady pace, traveling at about 50 to 55 miles an hour. I kept the throttle at the same angle the whole time. And if you look at the bank, this is sensor, this is bank one, sensor two. This is after the catalytic converter. If you look right here, see how steady that line is? That's how it should be. But if you look at this O2 right here, bank two, sensor two, this is also after the cat on the bank two. Look at how inconsistent those lines are. Typically when you see that, it means a bad catalytic converter. But being this converter is brand new, my thought was, you know, maybe they put a defective or a wrong O2 sensor on that bank two. So let me show you what I ordered. So rather than condemn his exhaust system, this O2 sensor right here, part number 23159, is only $42. So I said, let's go ahead and just try this first. So we're gonna go ahead and get it installed. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. We'll look at the readings again, and we'll go from there. So bank two is located on the driver's side. This is the O2 that's after the cat. You can see it's definitely aftermarket. They took it and just wire tied it right here, which is nothing wrong with that, but that just shows me that someone did replace it. Go ahead and get it unplugged. Damn, he's like... So looking at the 202 sensors, they're definitely different in length. So let's get this on. Go ahead, Bob. Dude, that noise is like going through. Let's go see what the hell he's doing. What, what are you doing? Holy shit. That's an aluminum? Fucking solid steel. <laughs> Hey, I just want to say, job well freaking done, buddy. Almost. <laughs> That's a noisy bitch. All right, now that I got the O2 installed, I'm gonna lower the car, get the scanner set back up, and go for a ride. And you're going along with me. All right, what we need to do is get this thing up on the interstate and hit that steady speed of about 50, 55. Try to keep the throttle at the same position you know, not giving it gas or taking gas away. It should level out in just a minute or two. All right. So looking at the data, it's not gonna lie. That rear O2 sensor is definitely not acting right. It's probably gonna be a bad converter. I mean, it is an aftermarket converter, so it's not like it's a brand new one from the dealer. It's an aftermarket one. And, you know, sometimes you just get crap, you can't help it. 
I am going to call a customer though and I'm going to see how long that that converter has been on this car, truck. If it's just happened, it should be under warranty. If it's been on here a while, then he's probably out of luck. That being said, let me call the customer. So after talking to the customer, come to find out he did have a warranty on that converter. So he's going to take care of that himself. That is it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Catch you later.